This week on Latter-day News. Thank you so much for being here today. The giving machines were a hit. Can you guess the total donation? And later, we'll tell you how you can explore the original Book of Mormon manuscript. But first, the headlines. As never seen before, The Mission is an official Sundance 2022 documentary film selection. Director and non-member Tanya Anderson was given unprecedented access to tell the story of four missionaries serving in Finland during their entire mission. The mission is about four missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who um, have to leave their homes in Utah, California, and Idaho and are sent to the other side of the planet, to Finland, to carry out their mission and serve the Finns, who are arguably the most private and skeptical and non-religious people in the world. The mission premiered at the film festival this January and hopefully will be made available by a streaming network soon. <laughs> Elder Christofferson turned 77 years young on January 24th. Elder Christofferson served as a missionary in Argentina, graduated from BYU and Duke University Law School. He served as a law clerk to U.S. District Judge John J. Sericha during the Nixon-Watergate trial. He was called as a general authority in 1993 and then as an apostle in 2008. Go forth with hope and courage strong to spread the word abroad that people of all nations are children of our God. Missionaries in the Oslo, Norway mission created this video with their missionary friends serving around the world. We can't imagine the number of P-Days it took to coordinate this effort, but we are so glad they put it together for all of us to enjoy, and more importantly, to show how the Book of Mormon is truly traveling the globe. The familiar red giving machines were rolled out again for the Light the World 2021 campaign during Christmas. We're just so delighted to be part of this great partnership in a world in which too many want to divide us from each other. We're here to say together. The total donations were just released for the giving machines that were placed in the 10 cities last year. The red boxes exceeded $5.8 million during the one-month campaign with an estimated 300,000 visitors. The most popular items were livestock, like chickens, goats, and beehives. You were born to do this. Europe has an unparalleled future because of you. In a special broadcast to Europe, President Nelson, Elder Bednar, and their wives spoke on the restoration of the gospel and the gathering of Israel. The gathering of Israel, foretold throughout scripture, is occurring right now in every nation that includes those of Europe. There is a feeling among some people that religion is dying in Europe. Secularism is indeed flourishing in many parts of the world, and Europe is no exception. I am not naive about that reality. But, brothers and sisters, never forget that the restoration of the gospel commenced so that all men and women might know that it is true. Sister Nelson gave a challenge to the saints in Europe to strengthen their testimonies. Today it can be difficult to know who speaks the truth. But my testimony is that prophets of God always speak the truth. For this new year, let's put an exclamation mark after every statement from a prophet and a question mark after everything else we read, see, or hear. Would you like to try that with me for 30 days and see what happens to your heart and mind? What would happen to your level of peace, clarity of thinking, joy, experience of love, and spiritual prosperity. The devotional was broadcast to 48 countries in multiple languages across Europe. Last week on Latter-day News, we brought you the story of the disaster in Tonga.
We reported that the church was still not aware of the safety of the saints and missionaries in the Tonga Outer Island Mission. We can now happily report that all members and missionaries are accounted for. Church members on the main island are now donating anything they can, loading it on boats to be taken to the Outer Islands. The First Presidency also sent a message to the members of Tonga with their prayers and promise to help them rebuild. Dear friends, welcome to Brazil. My wife and I are here in our home country. Elder Sordas and his wife will deliver the keynote at Roots Tech 2022. We want to invite you to join us for Family Discovery Day on March 5th. You can watch it on churchofjesuschrist.org. We hope you enjoy it and learn more about the importance of your family heritage and who you are, sons and daughters of our beloved Heavenly Father. Não perco esse dia. Até lá. Elder Soares just shared this message as a social media post and with over 10,000 likes in just three days, it appears that many are pretty excited to hear them speak. Hope. Sit down. There's one more thing. It is a CD in your name for $2 million. You must live in my home for one year. Hope's grandmother passes away and she returns to Cherry Valley for the funeral. Hope learns that she will inherit a large sum of money if she lives in the home for a year. When she hears a fate that awaits the home, Hope gears up for the fight of her life. Will she also find love along the way? Find out when you watch Letters from the Heart on Living Scriptures streaming. And that's the headlines. Thank you for your good work. Thanks. Appreciate you. Proud of you. And now, Latter-day News ends with a special story of how the church is releasing the original Book of Mormon manuscript to the public. These texts were vital to the restoration of the gospel in its fullness. This volume touches my heart deeply. So there's one page that has Joseph Smith's handwriting on it. There's slightly darker ink on these three lines. So this is Joseph Smith's handwriting. This latest volume contains actual color copies of the original manuscript. The book also adds color-coded transcriptions and is the first book to contain all that is left of the original manuscript. This is the manuscript that was in the room with Joseph and Oliver on the table as the words of the Book of Mormon fell from the prophet's lips for the first time. According to historians, only 28% of the original manuscript is in existence today. Many of the documents were damaged by water while being stored in the cornerstone of the Nauvoo house. Also, Emma's second husband would hand out pages of the manuscript to visitors. All that remains today was collected and compiled for the book. In total, the Joseph Smith papers will include 26 volumes. This is volume 23, and the project is made possible by a generous donation by Gail Miller and her late husband, Larry H. Miller. I know that this is a divine work. I know that it is an important, almost critical work for the church, for people to be able to go to the work of the Josephine papers and get the truth. Next week on Latter-day News. Temple updates. A temple is rising among the skyscrapers in Bangkok. Come back next week for more Latter-day News.